guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you all of these beautiful, lovely favorites that I had for the month of June. And I'm also applying them, which is something a little different for me. Most of the time, I just go through them, I show you the product, I don't really show you how I apply it. But today I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing it with my makeup, with my body products, with my hair products. So I hope that you guys will stick around because this one, guys, this one is gonna be long. So grab something to eat, grab a drink. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Also hit that notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video. Let's go ahead and get into my favorites. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this favorites video. I am gonna be applying the products. Now, I can't apply every single product that I have here in my favorites, but I am going to try to apply most of them. My hair is actually drying in one of those little towel scrunchies, so I'm gonna let it dry, and then afterwards, I'm gonna show you some products for my hair that I use. But the first product I wanna mention is this. This is the Keenlo Golden Rays Mineral Sunscreen. So this is SPF 50. It's 100% mineral sunscreen which I really love. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is you can see it gets really dirty up there. I've tried to clean it every single time I use it, but for some reason it just oozes out and it gets dirty. So unfortunately that's the bad part of it, but you're gonna see how beautiful this is on the skin. This is a tinted sunscreen. Can you see that? It's a very golden tint. Now they come in medium and tan, if I'm not mistaken, or medium and deep. I got the medium. And the reason I got the medium is because of course the medium is gonna go more with my skin tone, but it leaves such a beautiful golden glow on the skin. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Now I put this underneath my eyes. I put it all over my forehead. I run it down my cheeks, around my mouth and I also bring a little bit down my neck. I try not to use a tinted sunscreen on my neck because if I'm wearing something like white or something that's light colored, I don't want to stain it. So I usually use like a clear sunscreen on my neck, but today I'm going to bring it down my neck because I have this tank top on. You see my skin, how golden and glowy it is? It is just so beautiful. I wore this when we went to Palm Springs and I'm going to tell you guys, the girls thought that I tanned my face and I didn't. I just put this sunscreen on, but they thought it would look so good. I wanted to let you guys know about this. It is a new favorite. I've been using it every day since I purchased it, and I actually purchased this at Walmart. All right, so for a primer, I've been using this Smashbox Revitalize Primer. This is a spray primer that's supposed to be comparable to the uh, Smashbox Water Primer. I don't even think they sell the Smashbox Water Primer anymore. I think um, this is what's kind of taken over. I know they have another Another one, I don't know what it actually is, but this one is called the Revitalize one, and this one's supposed to be comparable to the water primer. It's supposed to have a black rose scent, but it doesn't have a strong scent. It's very, very faint. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over. I love the mist on this. It just goes on so evenly and it distributes beautifully. Yeah, I love this. I used this while I was in Palm Springs and Palm Springs is really hot. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this kept my makeup on. This and another product I'm about to show you. So yeah, really been loving this to actually prime my skin and also set it. So I've been using the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Balm. This is what that looks like. And I love this, guys. I use this like during the day. I use it at night. I use it like whenever. I love it because it really plumps my lips up, makes my lips feel really soft and supple. I feel like it's doing something. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lips so that it can sit there while I'm doing my makeup. But it is a mask. You can just use it at night if you wanted to. But honestly, guys, I use it literally in the morning, at night, whenever. And it's not like sticky or like goopy. You don't feel like you get those, you know, lip gloss, you know, strings on your lips. It's a very nice mask. So now we're going to go in with primer and I've got two primers that I have really been enjoying and this one's kind of dirty. This is the mini Smashbox oil control primer and then I love the Danessa Myrix primer. So these two primers have been really really good primers. I will say the Danessa Myrix primer is probably the better of the two because it keeps me matte, it smooths my pores, it keeps the oils at bay. I just love this primer. I've been using it in most of my videos here lately. So yeah this is a really good 
primer. It's a little bit more expensive than this little bitty mini one, but it's worth it. It's so good. The matte one that's oil controlling, this one is really good too. So I only use just a tad bit of this. I'm gonna go ahead and use it today so you guys can see because I use that Danessa Myricks all the time, but I only use just a tiny bit and I use it mainly for the center of my face where I get really oily in my T-zone. Even putting it on, you'll see that it kind of mattified that area. It doesn't look as glowy as it did when I first put on that sunscreen. So yeah, it does mattify the skin. My pores don't look super bad with this as well, but like I said, the Danessa Myricks, it does it all. It really does it all. It smooths and mattifies my skin. So yeah, so I like those two primers. Really been loving them. Okay, so I have several foundations that I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you the first one that I wore in the giveaway video that I just recently posted. I wore this Dior Air Flash foundation. I have been loving this. This is like the perfect foundation for the summer. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It looks somewhat mattifying on the skin, but it's not too matte. It just does not go anywhere. It stays in place. It has good pigmentation to it. It also has good coverage, but I will say that I can't really get to like a high coverage with this. This is more like my medium to medium high coverage, but I still love the product. But this is the one, like I said, that I wore in that video. And guys, I love this foundation. So I did wear two products to Palm Springs and these products held up in the heat they lasted pretty much all day long when I went out to like shop eat do whatever but they're the makeup forever HD skin and the NARS um, I always forget this light reflecting foundation so these are the shades right here this one's in Tahoe I got this a little bit darker for a reason and then I have three in for two in this one what I did was I put more of this and then just a smidge of this to get that color that I needed or that shade that I needed to match my tan skin. Um, so yeah, these worked really well. They have really good longevity. Yeah, I really love these together. But I've also loved this one with this one. And I saw, I think her name is Rachel Leary. I just happened to see her channel and she was using these two products and she concocted like this most beautiful shade of foundation that literally works on me. She does self tan so she's a little bit lighter than me but with the tan she's probably my shade but she used these together and guys they look so dang good that I had to go ahead and buy both shades mix them up and make that concoction for my skin really have been enjoying this it looks beautiful on the skin and then another foundation that I've been loving is the Chantecai foundation this is such an amazing foundation it lasts throughout the heat it looks beautiful on the skin it's a very light weight foundation it doesn't have like high coverage but it does go up to a nice medium coverage I wasn't gonna buy this guys this is very expensive but I bit the bullet because I was like you know what that's a foundation that I would actually wear all the time this one's in the shade hazel and it is like one of the most beautiful foundations that I've ever tried on my skin it also has skincare benefits in it so that's a plus for this foundation but the only thing that I will say is I don't like that it comes in a pot. I wish that it came in a pump. I might even transfer it from here into like a glass bottle with a pump only because it just gets messy and I just don't like putting my finger in there. I usually get like a little spatula or something or like a clean brush. I'll get it in there and then dot it all over my skin. I love this foundation. It's so good. It looks so beautiful on the skin. So what I'm going to do is go in with the mixture that I wore to Palm Springs because I don't think you guys have seen me with this little uh, concoction here. So we're gonna use that because you guys have seen me use the Chantecaille. You've seen me use this one and this one and you've also seen me use the Dior Flash. Oh, you know what? But before we go into that, I've gotta bring up this product here because I think it's so stinking gorgeous. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 and this is in medium. I have talked about this on my channel. As you can see here, guys, if you look close enough, you'll see that I'm already getting down to like right here because I use this all the time and I want to use it today. I love that you can use this as a primer, you can use this as a skin corrector, you can use this as like a tool to actually give yourself a bronze glow 
it. Now it's not a bronzer, so it's not gonna be as intense, but it does give you that underlying bronze glow to the skin. So we're gonna go ahead and just use this today. I'm gonna show you how I use it. I just kind of put it all over and I'll take a brush and I'll just kind of press it into the skin. And I'm telling you guys, this gives my skin life. It really does. Initially when I bought that, I could not find it anywhere. I had to search for it. I finally found it, I bought it, and now I'm seeing it everywhere. But I've been loving it. It's just so good. They do have a medium deep that I wanna try because that shade is really pretty too. And I think it would be perfect now that we're like in the summer months when I get a little more tan. Plus I self tan guys. When I self tan, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel a little more confident, you know? My skin's all even. It just looks like healthy. So yeah, I really like a good tan. I put about that much. That's probably about a pump and a half of the Makeup Forever. And then what I do is I go in with just very little of this one. So basically I just kind of just do that. I just pump like one pump. And then I mix it all together with my brush or I go in with like this type of spatula and I just kind of mix it around so that I can mix all the color together. And once I do that, then I'll just go ahead and place it on my face. Okay, I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just going to press this on the skin. And I'm gonna run through this, guys, because you guys have seen me put on foundation. All right, I wanted to show you guys, I didn't use like all of it. I used most of it, but I didn't use all of it. So I'm just gonna take that off the back of my hand. So during my trip, I tested out the Huda Beauty. This is the Faux Filter Concealer. Now I have two shades in here. I have Granola, and then I also bought a new shade today. The reason why I bought the new shade is because Granola is like my skin tone, especially when I'm tanned, it's like my skin tone. But this one is a little bit lighter. So I wanted to use a little bit lighter one along with this one and the lighter color is called graham cracker now this is an amazing amazing concealer it does not crease on me i don't feel like i have to touch up with it i don't feel that it looks drying it just looks very smooth and put together under my eyes it's just a beautiful long lasting concealer I actually wore this for 13 hours 13 hours guys and it didn't move it didn't budge no creases nothing i'm sure you guys have seen the packaging what I like about this is the doe foot applicator it's so thick and it's just got like the perfect amount of product in there and so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just place this on the inner corner and the outer corner but I want to try the graham cracker one yeah see this one's just a tad bit lighter which I like so I'm glad I got it today I'm gonna smooth this out with a concealer brush I'm telling you guys this is one of the most amazing concealers that I don't think I want to use anything else for right now I love it that much it's so good I am gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape this is a different shade it's a lot deeper so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Sephora this is my Sephora eye primer so there's two palettes that I have really been loving. So the first palette is the Black Opal. I love this palette, guys. This is like no joke pigmentation. It is so, so good. And it is just such a phenomenal palette. Easily blendable. I've used every shade. There's not one shade in here that I did not like. Every shade worked for me. And the palette is pretty inexpensive. I think it's only like $15. And I actually got this one at Ulta. So today I'm not gonna use this palette. I am gonna use the other palette, the next palette, is this one. This is the Kendall and Kylie palette. I love this palette. This palette has like the most beautiful color scheme to it. It has some shades in there that are just gorgeous. Now this is an all matte palette so you're not going to get like any shimmers, you're not going to get any metallics, but honestly you probably don't even need that with this unless you want it. There are times when I use this palette and I do use one of these shades or I use like a metallic shade on the center of my eye and there is a look that I want to do with this today. I am going to use my Aerial Brushes by Morphe. These have been my go-to brushes since I purchased them. They are very well made, super soft. They blend beautifully. Everything that I use, whether it's a cream or a powder with these brushes, works well. So I'm going to use those today because I've been loving them and I've been using them like crazy. I have washed them several times because I use them so much. I'm going to set my eye with this shade right here. I'm going to go ahead and just run that all over it's a very light light shade it's not white it has like some lavender to it I'm just putting it all over 
the lid up to the brow. I think I told you guys the last time I wanted to use this pink all over. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use the pink, but I need to actually find a little transition shade for it. And I think I'm gonna go into this one right here. I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm just going to kind of run that up on my brow bone. So it's not really touching the eyelid. You can use this palette so many ways. You can use it as like a base palette for, like I said, the metallic shades in your collection it's just an all around good palette so just like that and then what i'm gonna do is i want to add this bubblegum pink all over the lid that one right there and i'm just gonna press it on with this brush wow look at that look at that pigmentation you see how beautifully that went on it works like a dream okay i'm gonna clean my brush off i want to deepen that up and i wanted to use this black shade right here because i haven't used this one but i do want to use it so I'm gonna go in with just a little bit. I think I'm gonna get a smaller brush because I'm kind of scared to go in with a really big brush. I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush. Do you see how pigmented that is? So we're just gonna gently press that on because I don't want it to look splotchy. And I'm just taking my time with this. And I put it on the corner, but I'm kind of running it right here in the crease. Just a little bit, not all the way through. I'm just blending it with that transition shade. I'm just going to blend the edges. So this is what the eye look looks like. So let me go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll come back and we'll finish off with the rest of my favorites. All right guys, so I finished my eyebrows. They're a little bit darker than what I like, but it's okay. We're gonna move on. I'm going to set my face and I'm gonna set my concealer and I'm setting them with these two new powders that I got and I love these powders. I've been using them ever since I purchased them and they're the Westman Atelier powders. This one I think is called Cream. I really want to to check out the more medium type shade. This is more translucent. It doesn't really show as like a white cast or anything. It doesn't have like a color to it on my skin. It's okay, but I still wanna check out the medium one. And then I also got this shade, which is more of like a pink, and that's for my under eyes. So I've really been loving both of these powders. They make my skin look super smooth. I like to take just a powder puff, and I like to just go into a pink shade, then I just go right underneath my eye and it sets that concealer beautifully. It also brightens up that under eye somewhat. And then I take a brush and I'll take this one and I'll just put it into the cream powder and then I'll just kind of press it onto the skin. And you see there's really no color to it, but it comes off super smooth. Again, I wore this in the heat, works really well, just looks really nice. I forgot to mention this concealer. This is another one that I've been loving. It's the Clay de Peau Concealer. This is more of like a stick cream form and it really does last on the under eyes and it's really creamy so it doesn't pull or tug and it just blends in beautifully look how smoothing it looks it's a really beautiful concealer and I don't have any creasing with that as well. So I'm gonna go in with a product that I recently showed you guys and I'm sure this is gonna be a lot of people's favorite. It's the Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Enhancer. This one is in medium dark. I do have the shade medium, which I feel like medium is a great shade if I am not tanned. I got medium dark initially. I didn't like the way it went on and then I tried it again and now I have it again. So I like both shades. Basically, this can go over your powder. It can go over just your foundation. I like going over my powder with it. This just gives me a really pretty like glow to my skin. And it also gives me some bronziness too. And I just put it on with just any brush. I don't have to use a specific brush like for cream. It is a balm, so it's not going to be as pigmented as you may think, but it is gonna have some pigmentation to where you can tell that it's on your skin. What I really love about this is it does not pick up any product off my skin. It doesn't pick up any foundation. It leaves everything in place and it just blends like a dream on my skin. I just love it. It's just simply gorgeous. It said now I'm gonna go in with the next product by Makeup by Mario and it's a Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This is a skin enhancer, which is the cream, and the skin perfector is the powder. And the powder actually goes from a darker shade into a lighter shade or vice versa. But this is beautiful on the skin as well. I'm just gonna take the brush I use with the powders and I usually just swirl it all around and then I just put it on 
my skin. It just adds a really nice enhanced glow to the skin. If you've already got a glow from the enhancer, you're definitely gonna get a definite glow from the Perfector. But really beautiful products by Makeup by Mario. I just have been loving them. I am gonna go in with another bronzer because I do want a little bit more warmth, and that's gonna be this Dior powder. This is in the shade 6N. I saw Katie Fawn use this on her channel. I had to try it, and I'm so glad I did. This is like the most beautiful powder on the skin. It's just beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with the powder brush, same one, and I'm just gonna press that into the skin, just kind of warm everything up. I'm really loving this, guys. This is like one of my favorites that I actually bought the finishing powder in medium because I loved the way this looked on my skin so much that I went ahead and bought the powder. I'll be trying it very soon. Do you see how beautiful that glow is and how beautiful the shade is? The shade's like super perfect. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose. I like adding a little bit on my nose. It gives me like that sun-kissed look. A cheek color that I've really been loving is the REM Beauty Cheek Colors. These are for lips and cheeks, but this is one of my all-time favorite, favorite shades. But it's like this beautiful, like bright orange. But guys, it doesn't go on like super bright on the skin. You can actually blend it out to where it looks very sheer and it doesn't look like super orange. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna blend it out with this brush that I have and that's the shade you're gonna get on your cheeks. It is simply gorgeous. I have not worn this on the lips yet, but I do plan on wearing it on the lips, but I've just been wearing it on the cheeks and oh my gosh, I love this like with a bronzed eye, so beautiful. Or another cheek color that I love, I've used this both on my lips and my cheeks, is the Love Tint by Benefit. This is another product that I just can't get over. It's so stinking pretty and it comes with this little doe foot applicator and basically what I do is when I use this, I put a little little bit on the back of my hand and then I'll take a sponge and just kind of dab it in there get it all mixed up and then add it on my cheeks and I have this really beautiful like flush look the tint on this is not like red it's like a red orange but a little bit more leaning on the red side but when you blend it out on your skin it gives such a beautiful like flushy type tone or color that I just can't get over how beautiful it is I really can't like I said I have you used it on my lips and I've used it on my cheeks and I love it. Okay, so today I'm gonna use another REM Beauty cheek color. What I like to do is I like to warm it on the back of my hand and this one is such a beautiful one as well. Just get a brush, I just tap it onto the color and then I just press it onto the cheeks. These are some of the most beautiful cream products at Ulta. They go on so seamlessly. They don't break up your makeup. You can put them over powder. You can put them directly on your skin. You can put them over foundation and no powder. Oh my gosh, they're just so beautiful. They really are. Well, I love it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder on my brush. I just put a little bit just to kind of tone it down. Not too much though, because I do like me some blush. A perfume that I've been loving is this one that I have by Hermes. This is part of a box of perfumes that I got. I got like a set of four uh, when I went to St. Bart's and this was one of the perfumes that was in there. I'm not gonna butcher the name guys because it's really hard to say, but I'll put the name here. It is one of the most beautiful fragrance for summer. It has like a very fresh scent, but it also has somewhat of a florally scent. It's not super florally and it's not super fresh. It's like kind of in between. It smells so, so good. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put some on right now. I put way too much right there, but I only usually put like two squirts. I'll do one on my wrist, tap, tap, and then I'll do one on my chest or on the clothes that I'm wearing. And that lasts, I sprayed too much. It's gonna make me choke. But it's been one of my favorites. I've been wearing it to work, I wore it to Palm Springs. I've just been wearing it all the time. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with lips. I'm gonna wipe this off. I've been loving the Anastasia lip liners. This one's in Sunstone. This one is in Deep Taupe. Deep Taupe is one of my favorites from this line. So this one here is Deep Taupe. And then the one next to it is Sandstone. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some lipsticks that I've been loving and some lip glosses. So I'm gonna show you 
two of my favorite lipsticks to wear right now for summer, and these are the Maybelline Vinyl Lipstick. I've mentioned these before on my favorites, but I wanted to mention these two shades here because one of them is like a bright red, kind of like an orange red, and then this one is like a pink and it's a bright pink these are so good guys they are long lasting i will say that i did eat and drink with these and they did transfer a little bit um as opposed to the ones that i've worn before which are more of the like rosy tones and the nude tones those don't transfer as much as these do these transferred and they actually some of it came off and my daughters were telling me to reapply because there was like a big gap there but these are the two shades that i have been loving they are number 25 and 45 45 is the pink 25 is the bright orange red but man these are hot these are really really hot on the lips they're so nice I'm sorry about the noise guys because my husband's in the dog room which is right here close to me there's a fan on in there so I apologize for that if it's loud anyway let's move on to the lipsticks because I'm really excited to show you these lipsticks they're all from the drugstore too so I'm really excited about that the first lipsticks I wanna show you are these by Revlon. These are the super, I think they're called the super lustrous, lustrous, I can't say that, lipstick. They're like a gloss. I have the shade 003, 020, and 014. 014 is such a beautiful, like, I wanna say it's more of like an orange brick and I'm gonna swatch it for you so you'll see it's so gorgeous on the lips so that's it right there do you see it's got like kind of like a brick tone to it really pretty and do you see how glossy these are I tried those lipsticks from Chanel which I did like I ended up taking them back after I found these because the lipsticks from Chanel they were expensive and they were glossy just like these exactly like these but these last a lot longer than the Chanel the Chanel they didn't last for anything on me this is the shade 020 I'm gonna switch my hands because there's so much stuff on the back of this hand that you guys can't see the shades. Let's watch them on my palm because you'll be able to see better. 020 is a nude shade. So that's it right there. Do you see how pretty that is? And then I have 003. I'm also gonna put the other shade 014. I'm gonna put that on there too. That's the first one I showed y'all, but I'm gonna put it on my palm so you guys can see. They're pigmented enough where you can wear them alone but these are the shades right here. The middle one is 003, and then this one is the first one I showed you, 014. That's the orangey brick one. This one looks kind of orangey, but guys, they're not. This one's got more rose in it. This one's more of a rose tone. This one's more of a nude, and that one has more of orange in it. I'm gonna use the 003, and you see how it has pigment? It's not super pigmented, but it has just enough pigment to it where you can tell that I have it on. So Revlon outdid it with those lipsticks, and then there's two lipsticks from Wet n Wild that I wanna show you guys. I was in CVS the other day. I picked up 532E. 532E is like kind of like this caramel brown shade it is stinking gorgeous this one is 531 c this has like a frost to it guys but i love this shade and the frost shade on the center i'm going to show you guys and this goes so good with that taupe liner what i'm going to do since i've already showed you this i'm just going to take it off because i want to show you the frosty shade the 531 c i wear that on its own or i wear it as like in the center just like that but that's it right there it's not super frosty but it has like a little glow so perfect for summer and then i love two lip glosses i'm going to use one of these today but these are the revlon lip glosses they're called the gloss i've got two shades here i've, I've got 301 and this is the pink one and then i've got 260 which is the nude shade and i think i'm going to use the pink one because i think the pink would go perfect with this eye look Oh yeah, and they're very, very glossy. Super beautiful. I just love the way that looks. And they're not sticky. You know, they don't feel like too thick on my lips. They just feel really good. I'm gonna show you the nude shade, which I love. I've been wearing this one like crazy. That's it right there. Look how glossy that is. That would go good with the taupe lip liner and one of those wet and wild lipsticks under it. It would go perfect with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually go off camera really quickly. I'm gonna do something in my hair and then I'm gonna come show you some products for the body and the hair 
that I wanted to show you in All right, this video. guys, I didn't do like too much with my hair, but I wanna show you something. You see how my hair is kind of flat? I'm gonna show you something in a minute after I show you this last product. This is the Revolution Baked Bronzer. This is in Long Weekend. I did purchase this to go all over the face and I'm gonna show you guys how gorgeous this is. It's so pretty. I also use this on my body. This is what it looks like. It's like a marbled bronzer and I just take a brush and tap off the excess and then just run it over my cheeks and then I put a little bit on my forehead and it just gives a really beautiful like bronzy glow and I like to put some on my neck. I'm gonna show you two hair products. This is the Living Proof Dry Volume and Texture Spray. This is amazing stuff. I love this for texturizing like my hair or lifting my hair, cause you see my hair is flat. I curl it, it always lays flat. I have been like searching for products to use that will give me some volume and this does just that. So I'm gonna show you. What I do is I take it in sections and I just spray. I'm kind of messy about this. I don't go in any, I don't do it very neatly, but I do it just like that. So I take it in sections just like that and I spray it all over. I kind of just take it, rub my fingers through it. See how it's giving my hair volume? Just by me spraying just those little spritzes, it's putting volume back in my hair. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is amazing. My hair looks a little frizzy, guys, because I didn't really do too much to it. But I just love how it makes my hair look like super full, kind of like I teased it, you know? And it just has that kind of effect. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this guys it's so good another love product is this living proof flex hairspray i'm just going to put a little bit on i love this because i can tame some hairs like these baby hairs that i have tame these down and i can also put it on my hair and when i touch my hair it doesn't feel like super crunchy it feels like really manageable and it doesn't leave any residue i love this stuff i love it for slicking my hair back for putting it over my curls because i can brush through them but this is a really really good product i just have the uh, mini version of it, but I'm definitely gonna get a bigger bottle. So those are two of the Living Proof products that I really have been loving for my hair. I'm gonna show you guys the illuminating stuff that I've been loving. First of all, I do wanna mention this Loving Tan. This is the platinum one, guys. This is Major Tan. I put this on today. I've had it on for about five hours and look at this tan. Look at the tan that I got. I'm like super tan and I only left this on for five hours. So this stuff really, really works. You have to work fast with this though, guys, cause it dries quickly, which is nice cause you won't get it on any of your clothing, but it is the platinum one and you just have to work it in really quickly. One thing that I've been loving and I've been wearing it on my chest and I've been wearing it on my legs is this Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This one's in deep. This is one of the most amazing products. It took me forever to find it. I actually found it like at a Kroger. I looked at CVS, I looked at Walgreens, I looked everywhere and I could not find it. But this just gives your legs that beautiful tan. Not only your legs, but I use it on my decollete when I'm not tan and it just gives that really beautiful bronzy look to the skin. Do you see that? And I'm gonna show you on the back because my hand's tan. I'm gonna show you back here on my wrist. See that? It gives that really beautiful, like golden glow to your skin. I've really been enjoying the Sally Hansen's airbrush legs in deep for my entire body, not just for my legs, but for my entire body, because I think it's just a phenomenal product. So glad that I found it. Last thing I want to show you guys is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs illuminator. So this is in the shade Nude Glow. It actually has a roller ball on it and it's so easy to apply. Basically what I do is I just take it and I just put it on my collarbone, any areas that I want to glow, and then I just rub it in. And do you see how glowy that is? It's like super glowy, but not sparkly. That's what I love about this. I put it on my shoulders, just like this. I use this for my legs, just down the center of my leg, just to give it some glow, like on my shin area. See that glow that it gives? It just gives like a really beautiful, like healthy glow to the skin. I love it. I did purchase this one at Walmart, but I can never find that Sally Hansen's airbrush legs. It's just so difficult to find. 
online, I guess everybody knows about it and everybody likes it. But yeah, I finally found it like at Kroger, which is a grocery store. So I'm done trying all my favorites that I'm gonna try on my skin. So we're gonna go over some other lifestyle products really quickly. I'm sorry this is so long, guys, but I have a lot to show you. So one of the items I have on right now, it's square neck tank top. So I have it in this shade. I have it in white, I have it in black. I got them at Target, they're eight bucks. I'll show you a picture right here of what they look like. They're really beautiful with like jeans or like shorts, but I really love these just to like put on, put them with the white pair of jeans and some heels and I'm good to go. Not only do I like them because they're $8, but I love them because they really do fit well and they don't get like stretchy. You know how sometimes your clothes get stretchy and they kind of, you know, where they get kind of flimsy. These actually don't do that. So I love these tank tops from Target. I also love these shorts that I bought and I think they're from Joy Lab. These shorts are similar to the ones that you buy at Free People but they're way cheaper. And I think right now they're on sale for the summer, if I'm not mistaken. But I bought the tan pair and I bought like a kind of a mustardy brown. I love these shorts. You know, when I work out, I do a lot of like hit and also like weight training. And when I work out, I feel like those shorts work out with me. They're not tight, they're not pulling on me, they're not riding up my legs, they're just fitting perfectly. So I love those shorts. Another thing I want to mention that I just recently got, but I love it, is this little fan that I got. I got this while I was in Palm Springs. I got it at this, it's a vintage store. I think it's called Bravo or Brava. And the lady was selling these and she had all colors and I ended up getting black. I love it for fanning my makeup and drying my makeup. I also love it like when it's hot outside, I'll take it with me, put it in my bag and it's a really good way to cool myself down. The last product I want to show you guys this is a note to self journal and this is a by wit and delight i got this at target i showed it in one of my vlogs i really enjoyed using this i have been trying to spend some time with god in the mornings or even in the afternoons i listen to a sermon or i read scripture and then i jot down what um i learned not only what i learned but what really was something that i was drawn to i always try to look to see you know how is God speaking to me what does he want me to see and a lot of times it just hits me right here you know because he always shows me what I need to see and man does he speak to me I usually use it only for that purpose I use it for the purpose of continuing my relationship with Christ and just kind of you know how do I need to grow how do I need to be more humble more grateful more loving you know all that good stuff anyway that is something that that I use it for, but you could use it for anything. You could use it to, you know, write down grocery lists. You can use it to journal your day, how you're feeling. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful journal. And it has like this little kind of rubber band thing that you can actually uh, bookmark your pages where you left off but this is what it looks like and it just says note to self I'm, I'm gonna try to pull it back note to self and it's got like this kind of linen um, um, what is it I don't even know what it's called but it's like a cover and then up here it just has wit and delight is the name of the um, the name of the brand, I guess. But yeah, I've really been loving this, really been enjoying it. That's pretty much it, guys. I think I covered everything that I've been loving, and I'm so glad that I got to do something different with you guys today. I'm so glad that I got to show you how these products apply, how I use them. I know a lot of it was like real quick, you know, but if you have any questions about anything that I used today or, you know, what I showed you today, please note it in the comments down below and I will definitely get back to you. I love like interacting with you guys and responding to your questions and also your kind comments. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Take care and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.